everyone, and welcome back to, in this episode, um, I've realized that, uh, I had to build the train, parts of the train, I probably should show you guys, but also, um, this, I, I mainly need these two things, mainly this right now, but it requires train casings, which means I need sturdy sheets. Which means I'm gonna set this process up, and I realized I didn't show you how I made the process for the train tracks. So I guess let's go look at that now. Also, it is very late, so I'm going to be talking very softly, as to not annoy people. And yeah, alright, so... Oh yeah, I also moved my fans over here and added a fourth one! This one haunts the- ah! I got too close. It also gives you blindness and slowness, and I think burns you? I don't actually know. No, it's just... It just haunts you. No burning. Okay, well, anyway. Um... So, as... Wait, where's the material actually at? Okay, here it is. So we need this, but we also need this. So we're gonna need another set of crushing wheels, and then a spout, and two presses. I don't think the spout needs any, uh, think so that's actually the first thing I'm gonna do. So these, I think this is as one unit, like it's not actually 4,000, but I mean, we can just test that by, um, I need to pick, oh, okay, so that is, okay, can we just not do that? Maybe if I, uh, do, you know, I'm just gonna do this off camera, I don't know why I'm even doing this. Alright, so, uh, obviously I made these, uh, and these, but I also made this, which is really simple recipe. Just put copper on that, and then red kelp, yeah. Um... Also, I guess I should show you the recipes for this, this, um, probably the- oh wait, no, we already did this. Wait, where's the- Don't know why it's not showing that. Hold on, if I go down here- Oh, yeah, no, it's not there. But... I don't know, it's still extracting lava. I don't know why it wouldn't it would say otherwise, but... Anyway, we throw... Let's just throw one in for now. And then throw the rest in. Then we do that. We get this. We press it, and press it again. Also, did that take? Yeah. So, just, uh, real quick, because I think I saw something wrong. Oh, I just interrupted it. I don't know why I set up two. I guess because I was thinking ahead, because I want to set up... Actually, you know what? I'll set that up now. Actually, no, I don't think I'll set that up now, neither. Because uh, this stuff, it has a chance to give you city and back, so I need to set up a recycling system. Anyway, we got these. Uh, actually, I'm going to make a few more ones. Alright, just so that you guys see it. Oh, and I also forgot, this stuff looks nice. Oh. I don't know why that was on that. So... I first need to make... Yeah, I guess I should 
make one of these. Okay, um, why do I... No, I made like a stack of compasses. Okay, maybe not a stack, but... Why doesn't it recognize these? Alright, I'm gonna make two. So that's because, uh... Right now we have, uh... Well, three train stations, but... I had to make them in batches of two. So, I guess... Um, I will be setting up a train station here? No. No, no, no. I want it to be right in front. So right there. And actually, I'll set this up later. Um, but yeah, basically how it works is you like do that, do that, then create no train, and then you just put a bogey down. We don't actually want this, so um, we'll take that back, cancel assembly, and take this away because that we don't want it there. I will probably use a set or even make a section of track. I'm pretty sure you can pick up trains. Um, uh, yeah, we'll make a train on a section of track and do that. Uh, what, what else was I doing? Oh, right, I was making these. And I'm actually gonna need a few of these. I'm gonna make a factory for these, so that I'm not too worried. But, yeah, as you saw, you make these like this, and then this like this, so I just need to make a... Attach a tree farm, and... Or just set up a chest, but a saw for the wood, because, as we've seen, we can make these and that. But, yeah, so... Let's see... So trains will be going in from this direction. So we want probably about here. And then it, this is optional, but I feel like I want a post of some kind to put it on. Do we have... You know, I'm going to grab stone. Do we have normal stone walls? Wishful thinking. Um, wait, no, give me this. Give me this. And then we grab wall. And go like this. Oh. There we go. And then, before I forget, I also want some Nixie tubes. Oh. That's a train station. Okay. Then we put on a Nixie tube. And then... We also want one for here. That's three, right? Yeah. Put that there. Then right across the way. Right here. And that will make a self-contained segment. Trains will if there's any train in any of these areas, they'll stop for it. But also, let's make these brass, because that will mean that if there's a train, say, waiting here to move along to the next area, for some reason, a train won't go through to go that way. And there will be trains waiting here, because this is 
where our train station will be. And then obviously we also want an outward area. And hey, well, so uh, technically we want one here. Actually, no, we, I know we want one there. That's not where I want that. So, yeah. That's, let's put that there. And then finally, one here. And go ahead and right click all these. Not as in line as I would have wanted, I can fix that later. And then we do the same thing, but this way, for this side. So I'll be back. Alright, well there we go. As you can see, if I hold this, these green areas are areas where trains are expected to intercept as indicated by the train signals. Or rather, oh wait, no, actually, what it is is it's where uh, the train signals area of effect. So if a train is anywhere in these, basically these areas close off. And, and, because of them being turned to this, if there's a train waiting over here for some reason, trains before this point will stop and wait. Which isn't necessarily very useful in this instance. Mainly, uh, it's best for intersections where you want a train to pass aggressively. And yeah, kind of it works here because trains will go by through there and not. And there's going to be a station there, so trains going up that way will wait for the trains at the station to move on. Uh, it, it's a bit complicated, but you know, uh, if if you really want to know more, you can just basically do this, and yeah, this will tell you everything you need to know. And pressing A and D will move it forward and backwards. So yeah, and that's also uh, why I know you can use Nixie tubes because uh, I believe. It's this one? No, it's this one. That shows you that, but yeah. It, it's very in-depth, and it's actually a really good way to learn the Create mod. Let me think if there's anything else I need to do. Nope, there isn't, so... Um, wow, I'm wildly underprepared. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and until the next time... Goodbye!